Oh, that's a cute picture. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we got ourselves separated from the big bros after getting attacked by some hammer bros, but then we made amends with them by saving them from elite speak androids infecting their minds. And we got hammers because of it, which is really sick and cool. So now we can go ahead and do a bunch of cool stuff in this dungeon, like rescue the big bros. Well, I guess that's kind of a necessity, but we can do some other things as well that are also kind of a necessity because it's what you need to do when you get a new ability in an RPG. You just use it like a crazy. And it drives me crazy. Have I told you lately? I can't believe I'm referencing that of all things. Okay. Uh, we go through here. I believe there's an item for us. Yes, indeed. Three mushrooms. Just keep on rolling out these really awesome item boxes. Uh, if we go up here. I'm not really sure where the exactly we're supposed to be going. I don't think we can actually leave this main area. Well, the blue pipes are always the ones that require four bros to stand on. So, yeah, we definitely can't leave this area without rescuing the big bros. At least we can reach these uh, coin blocks, no problem. It'd be really crummy if we were too short to reach them. I always like that we can't reach the shelf. It's so, like, demoralizing. Uh, what does it say? Wall, switch, whack, joy. <laughs> okay. At least they were kind enough to give us the translation. Uh, jump over here. Uh, that's kind of not the easiest thing to figure out, but once you get it, then you can just jump down here, hit this hammer, and that thing just opened up for us. Very, very nice. I think I went the right way on the first try, which is pretty cool. Though, it doesn't look like there were that many branching paths to begin with, so maybe I'm not all that skilled. Maybe it was just like, there was only one thing to do, and I just feel good about it. I don't know. Uh, this way was stuff we've already experienced. Yes, it was. Stuff we've already experienced as a way of boarding it. Uh, jump up here, and head into this, not a pipe, but rather an air vent. Uh, if we could go over here, we get refreshing herbs, yeah. Like, that's why I never want to go ahead and buy refreshing herbs, because, like, you barely ever need them, so... And you get, like, just two or three from the game itself, and that's enough for me. Uh, this right here is a spiked enemy, so obviously we couldn't jump on it to first strike it, because we've gotten in ouchies. Uh, but of course, these guys are going to explain to us, you could go ahead and use our hammers in battle! So the hammers work a bit differently. You want to press X right when the hammer's like all the way back and like as soon as possible because if you hold it for any longer then your uh, mallet will fall off of the stick and then you won't do that much damage. Hammer for shakes, press the X button. And same thing with Baby Luigi except with the Y button. Okay, let me teach you how to counter attack with a hammer. So it takes a little while to swing your hammer out like you can see right here it just does the little wind up thing and then you're just going to let it go. That's how it works. Okay. The hammers can be a bit more scary to dodge with just because you... They don't have, like, the widest range, so you got to get the enemies up close and personal with you before you could let go of the hammer. The hammer could actually fall off during the counterattack thing, so you can't just keep it out, like, right from the beginning. You kind of need to wait for it. It could get kind of tricky in the future, though that's sort of the same for basically everything in this game. It starts out pretty easy, but then it gets really complex later on. Ouchies. Kind of awkward to just... I, I usually never keep the hammer out when just roaming around the field. I only use it like, when it's absolutely necessary, but... I guess this would be a moment where it is necessary. Well, not necessary, but like, it would certainly help. So, therefore, not necessary in the slightest. Uh, they do have a chance of attacking multiple times, I believe, so that's why I keep on whipping the hammer back out right after I use it. And just like with the jumping, you could have them whip out the hammers at the same time during a counterattack, and you don't really have to worry about it. And there you go. One more for Baby Mario. And we're good. Get experience and coins and a green shell. Now, if we keep on going through here, there is a branching path. Uh, of course, I go on the one that doesn't have the item. Must get item. I guess another uh, one plus that Superstar Saga has over uh, Partners in Time is that whenever you got any new abilities, uh, Mario and Luigi would have this little uh, voice clip of what it was. So, like, for Luigi, of all of his would be like, Hi, hammer, thunder! And then uh, Mario's was a uh, spin, hammer, fire! It was very, very funny. Uh, but as you can see, the hammer actually has a chance of making enemies dizzy, so it makes it so they can't attack for a short period of time. So it- oh, we got a lucky as well, that's cool. So we could actually just take advantage of that and leave them out in the field for a while, and, uh, just have at it with this other enemy instead. And he's recovered, okay. Let me go and do that. So the- I don't know if you guys can see it on your end, or not, but like, the footage was like, glitching on the DS, which was weird. I would expect to like, it would be- 
concerning on a computer for sure, but like, I don't remember ever having screen issues on the DS itself. I don't know if that has anything to do with the capture card or whatever, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just my dumb luck. Maybe I was just feeling too darn confident uh, tonight when I wanted to record this, so it was just like, we need to peg that down a notch, make you feel like you can't accomplish anything. That's usually how my life goes. I'm just gonna hammer away. And... Oh, wow, jeez. Of course. Do that, and we're good. I believe if you also uh, swing too early, like if you're just like, oh, just press X right away, then uh, it will knock the thingy off. Uh, well, downward is a dead end, so I guess I'll just go there first. And run to another enemy! What a pathetic excuse for a fight. Uh, do we get a level up? No, I thought because we went up to 700, we would get something, but nope. Uh, right here is one of those spots that they were talking about before, the ones with the X. You dig underground and you get a bean. The beans are used for something later on. Like I said, I'm not going to be going out of my way to get every single one of them. Uh, but they could be useful in certain situations. I believe we have... Oh, what do you want to say? Sorry to disturb you at this time, but I must teach you to count beans. Oh, great. Press A. Go to beans. And there they are. Back to adventure. There aren't any different varieties of beans. It's literally just a bean, so you don't have to worry too much about it. I'm pretty sure there were a bunch of different kinds of beans in the Superstar Saga because it was all about beans and the bean, bean kingdom and all that jazz, but uh, this game, not so much. But let's see. We got another pair of unarmed jeans. We're going to give that to Baby Luigi. Even though it lowers his defense, there are very rare occasions where he's actually out on his own, so we don't have to worry about him getting hit all that much. I'd rather have the extra attack power. So we're just going to head up here. And we only have one more place to go, and that is the place with the bootleg Wispy Woods on the screen that we can see right there. And ever so conveniently, inside of this room, we have some very interesting looking uh, snot coming out of this tree's nose. Hmm, I wonder if there's any indication that that's something that might be important to us. So we're just going to go ahead and smash these four things. And thankfully, this wasn't actually a boss fight, because this guy looked kind of scary. Oh my god. I know I look better. I was thinking Luigi crying with his baby self or just... I love the voice clip of Mario saying, BABIES! Sounds so stinking funny. Hey! Nice, you found your buds that we kidnapped. Yeah, buds helping buds makes the world go round. Oh yeah, we did a buddies. We're gonna teach you how to use the hammer when piggybacked, okay? So we choose the hammer. And we gotta press X. Uh, we wanna press... A, okay. Hammer shakes press A button and then X. So it's sort of like the opposite with the jumping. When you're jumping, you want to press the baby button first, then the adult button, but with the hammer one, it's the adult button first, then the baby button. I guess you can think of it like since when jumping, you're having the character finish up the attack, you're having the older bro finish up the attack, so you want to press the younger button first. But with this one, you need the older one to initiate some sort of action to make the younger ones attack more powerful. I guess that's what they were going for, and I guess they just want to have variety and make it seem like there was more differences with your attacks aside from just jumping and hammering, I guess, but what is? Countering is exactly the same, and we are out of here. Goodbye, hammer bros. Gonna do that. It's kind of weird that, like, you have to press X to initiate the attack, X and Y to initiate the attack, but you, like, you switch over to B. Kind of Akotaka, but hopefully it's not too difficult for me to remember. And we're good. Get that experience. And now that we are reunited, we could continue on with this dungeon. We could also get out of this, uh, area, this map and stuff. Uh, is there any way to open up this thing? Yes, there is. Hit this button, and we are on our way. We can really stink on good progress, like... I don't know, it's just, I haven't played this game in so stinking long, and back when I played it, it was super stinking difficult for me, so to have so much progress happening uh, really stinking quickly, just, it makes it seem like I've grown so much since I've played this game or something, I don't know. Cannonballers are a new type of item, and this is a new type of enemy who we're not, we're not going to try this on. It says Dr. Shroob. Dr. Shroob uh, has a bunch of different uh, mushrooms that he could eat that makes him do a bunch of different things. Also, when he goes the beep, that means he's gonna hit Mario, and when he goes the boo, then he hits uh, Luigi. Uh, okay, and of course, there goes that. Um, how does this work? The He's got a poison mushroom with him right now. He'll eat that, and it'll actually end up hurting him. So, you actually don't want to attack him right now because it'll be convenient for you. 
But this one it is a, a Mega Mushroom, so he'll end up um, making himself super big and you won't be able to dodge him. So you want to jump on him to get rid of his mushroom. Unfortunately, you can't keep it for yourself. But you can see it's like a, not exactly a mushroom. It's a mushroom or something like that. So I don't think we want to eat it even if we uh, had access to it. So he eats that and he starts drooling. It looks like it's really creepy. And yeah, as you saw, the hammers were starting to shake. So they were at risk of losing them right there. So that's why you can't just whip the hammer out right at the beginning. Because it could uh, backfire on you if the enemy takes too long to attack you. Go ahead and do this jump, and uh, we're not quite there yet. And he's gonna do that little attack, this little ballerina soiree, and finish this up. Typically, I don't really use the hammer in battle unless it's absolutely necessary, and I just sort of prefer the jumping. It looks cooler, and it's easier for me to just pull off. Uh, Baby Mario, what do you got for us? Can I remember? Ooh, this looks really good. And of course, I could just get a one. Baby Luigi goes to level 8. Get that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's also looking good. Hmm. I'm gonna go with attack again. And get a 4! Very, very nice. I wish Baby Mario got the same treatment, but oh well. It's all about the luck of the draw. Uh, I guess we just have to walk into this one. I kind of don't like that when you have the babies all uh, piggybacked, you can't really first strike with the hammer. You're going to have to like release them to first strike it. So these guys are unstrikable for the time being, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and hammer them. And we're good. Uh, whip out the hammers. Whack away. Whack away. Whack away. Whack away. Whack away. Whack away. Oh, yeah. Like I just said that they could attack multiple times. So don't let your guard down, basically. Uh, get the hammer, spiny, does it say spiny shroopa or something like that? Or shroopa? Shroop da whoop, shroopa. Okay, shroop da whoop. Go ahead and smack him in the face, and we are good. And no, not every single enemy in this game is just like a shroop version of a Mario enemy. Uh, like, like this guy right here is totally not a shroop lack of two. Yeah, whatever. I guess in theory you could let this guy just keep on spawning enemies for free experience, but I'd rather get rid of him and show off what he does exactly. It is a lack of... Shroob, I swear to God, if his name is actually Lack of Shroob. Or Lack of 2FO, sure. Uh, he summons enemies on the field, but he might be able to do it in battle as well, so I guess we'll just keep him around just so we can see what he's all about. Frame rate on him looks kind of weird, I don't know why. Not like bad or anything, just like it's interesting to look at, I guess. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get rid of him. Well, no, we didn't actually even start attacking him, so. Would be very awkward if we just got rid of him very quickly like that. So whatever. Uh, now we're using our hammers, summoning an enemy. Oh, god darn it! Mario's poison. Don't really care though. Uh, he summoned a new enemy though, which is really not good. Uh, get rid of him. And let's see. All right, we're at least making quick work of these guys. And okay, Luigi, go ahead and hammer him. The lack of two fo is in the air, so we can't use our hammer on him. Uh, just like using Koopa shells, you can't use it on flying enemies. They will just dodge out of the way. So we just do that jump, and then Luigi follow up with another jump. And we're not entirely good to go. Just throwing off all my creative flow. My creative flow, I mean not very creative in the slice because I keep on saying every LP. Well, that's unfortunate. Would have rather used a refreshing nerve than a one-up, but whatever. Bring Mario back, because I want him to get the experience. Om nom nom. Oh yeah! Use the jump, and we're good. And there's a lot of experience right there. I think we're in due time for some level ups or not. How late? We got another cannonballer though. Those are very, very... Oh no. Those are very, very good items for even uh, late into the game. So very much appreciate getting any of those. And of course, we're just gonna get hit and dodge that one. And he's gonna poison mushroom though. It doesn't really matter. Because he's the only one on the field, so we can just keep on attacking him. And we're good. The screen at the top kind of looks like a car or something like that. I don't know. Very minor details and uh, uninteresting topic discussions. Uh, here we got another bean spot. I'm definitely going to try to get as many as I can, any ones I see on the way. But if I miss them, I'm not going to like stress out about it. Because they are actually very useful. So I would recommend getting them if you see them. Uh, let's go with this one right here. How much about there was like a bean spot in every single room we've gone through so far, and I've just been missing out entirely, which is very unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, this is the entire dungeon? Are you serious? 
Okay, yeah, this is the final area and stuff. I know, I don't know, it's just crazy that we're already here. I know we still have to go through this entire map, but still, I was not expecting that. that there was at least, like, another map to this place. Uh, let's see if we can first strike. Oh, god darn it. First strikes with the hammer are actually really good. It usually confuses all enemies on the field, which is really nice, instead of doing damage. I uh, would have really liked to have had that, but oh well. Oh, wow, it was really strong. Do that, and that. Uh, go ahead and whip it out one more time. That sounded very gross. And we're good. Uh, so yeah, aside from recording this stuff and being ahead of recording a lot of other stuff, I started recording, I've been recording a lot of uh, stuff for Viz Nomadic, and with Viz Nomadic, I guess. Uh, it's always a really fun time. I like how the past several recordings, such as all well, we've been with different groups of people and stuff, and they're just all really cool people in general. Just like mentioning them, mentioning them every now and again because they are my friends. Oh, no! How was that a back attack? He's in the air. Okay, those are definitely the most annoying enemies in this dungeon. But we got out okay, no problem. I guess this would be a good time to whip out some healing items. What do we got right now? We got a bunch of mushrooms, so I'll go ahead and use those. They don't even uh, heal us up to full HP, so I really shouldn't be stingy with them, because they're probably going to be obsolete to us in the very near future. Even though we got 30 of them. Uh, we got ourselves another warp pipe right here. Can we do anything with them? We can't reach up there quite yet. But we will eventually, otherwise that would be very bad game design. Mario got a level up, which is very, very nice and very, very needed. Uh, it's pretty okay on HP. Offense, was that a 5 in there? I see I see a 5. Uh, defense still is pretty good. Oh, speed is looking really, really good. Um, I guess we'll go with speed for now. And of course we get a stinking 1. Great. Ugh. It's always very begrudging when you get like a very crummy number on the roulette. Like you gotta level up, you're gonna celebrate, but then like, oh, it's gonna ruin your celebration because it just gives you like a crummy number. It's just like, uh, we're just gonna have a hard time. Uh, go up here. And we got more ventilations for us to go through. Uh, something tells me this would be a good time to speed some stuff up. Or not. Nah, okay, no speeding up, just cutting stuff out because the path is already gone. Hit this button. And makes that electricity thing of Mahoozy disappear. I believe that means Mario and Luigi need to start walking down here and hit these switches. So, MG, it's as if this dungeon was made specifically for us. Head on over here and we could go in, get this bean real quick, and pop out of here. Hit this. Look back down. Have fun editing this future midnight or Mr. Chris Mad if I end up passing this on to him. Luigi gets a level up. Very, very good. Uh, let's see if we could get an actually good bonus this time. Oh, attack's looking really good. Five! Very nice. Of course, in order for Luigi to succeed, everyone else needs to fail. That's how it works out. Uh, anything else over here? We do have these blocks, but we cannot hit them. They are transparent. So, let's go back to the babies. See if they could get anything over here. And ever so conveniently, they have blocks that aren't completely transparent. Go back down here. And hit it with these guys. And we have officially done every single combination we could possibly do. So therefore, they're going to let us advance. Go on over here. And that's about it. Oh, no, not entirely yet. We're not done yet, folks. We got to go ahead and smash some boxes. It's not enough that we made access to this area over here. We gotta continue on smashing. I just realized the stinking Vim shroom heads that are floating in there. It looks really creepy. Uh, go ahead and hit this. And... No, are you kidding me? God darn it. Okay, I guess that's what I get for making fun of the boxes that were in our way before. Uh, not sure why there are two switches here. Why isn't there just one that opens up both pathways? But whatever. Trying to make every door seal... Uh, seal special. Well, I guess it was sealed, but it's trying to make it feel special by having a button assigned to each one. Okay, whatever you say. Let's get this open here, because speedrunning tactics. Hooray. Now, let's see. This one is a dead end, so we're going to go this way first. And, oh, Luigi Blog. Well, we'll go in there eventually. Just hold your horses, Midnight. Get that bean, and keep on going. 
Uh, we got this guy right here. Well, they both whipped out uh, poison mushrooms or super mushrooms this time around, so I guess you're gonna get to see what it looks like when they do this sort of thing. Hey, it is dodgeable. Instead, we just have to use our hammer. There you go. Just get all beefed up and stuff. I thought we would just like, they would still make us jump, but we couldn't do anything about it. But no, they were nice enough to let us uh, defend ourselves. Go ahead and dodge that. And that. Ba do And you should be dead. Thank you. Get that experience and coinage and a bro flower. It's called a fire flower game. Jeez, what are you? You're not even a Mario fan. You don't even know what that is. Uh, this thing right here, this is a special kind of question mark blob. We'll get to that right as soon as we get this bean. And pick these guys up. You need all four bros to reach it, so you just jump with Mario and then have Bay Mario jump when he's in the air. Just gotta go ahead and hit this over and over and over until you mess up, and then you could get coins from it. So I'm gonna stay quiet for it, just for the sake of focusing. Uh, 36. Very, very nice. You can only do it one time, but you get a lot of coins from doing it, so it is a nice little extra thing you can do. Uh, I just want to read this sign real quick. Uh, piggyback. Man jump. Baby jump. Hit. High block. Joy. Again, it's ever so conveniently laid out just for us. It's as if the villains want us to be here so they could, uh, watch us suffer or something like that. I don't know. It's always interesting. I always like the villains that are written that way. They're People always question why uh, villains uh, don't do a certain thing. Like, if you can destroy the world right now at this very second, why don't you do so? Well, the thing is that the villains are so twisted and stuff and so far gone that they don't uh, want to just destroy the world. They want to watch people suffer. So they make their process super slow because they want to torture people for as long as possible. And that's going to be their downfall that they gave the heroes an opening. So that's sort of the dealio with that. I know it may not seem like an entirely smart thing to do, but that's the thing. The villains aren't smart, the heroes are good, and all that jazz. So it's a good thing that they aren't uh, completely all thought out in their plans, because then the heroes get to stop them and save the day. Uh, in most situations, anyway. Uh, let's keep on jumping around. Uh, there we go. Green shell. And let me just fight this guy real quick. Probably gonna regret trying to record this entire LP. Not the entire LP. Uh, as I was saying, I'm probably gonna regret the fact that I'm gonna try and record this entire dungeon in one episode. Uh, hopefully all the fights I'm cutting out will make it okay in the end, but who knows. Go ahead and dig right here, get another bean. Get on up here. And we got ourselves uh, one more room before heading to the final two rooms. That was a very crummy, not necessary sentence. And how the fruit was that a back attack? I assume it was like he shot the laser, Mario jumped over, but Luigi didn't get in front of it. But because like we're so close together, it just sort of went to Mario and stuff. I don't understand. Baby Mario got a level up. Very, very good. Uh, what do we got? Uh, looks, looks pretty good. That looks really, really good. I want that good attack power. Come on! Why is it still just a one? Uh, maybe Luigi gets a level up. HP's looking mighty fine. Attack. Defense. Three, okay. Now, this looks very similar to the puzzle we had outside, where we needed to have the babies go up here and move this platform around, so just get them in here. And hey, it's the only thing we need to do, really. Let's get this. And they're on their way! Let's see what we can find. Uh, I should probably move this down just a little bit, just so I could see if there's any sort of treasures and whatnot. Uh, hit this. Builds a bridge for them, presumably. Very, very good. And let's get back on that. Return to your original positions. And that does not entirely let us get up there. Uh, I guess we could go and run. Nah, they can't run quite yet. Because we need to push them over here. Riveting! Get on over here. Oh, I was actually 
right to move on up here because we got two mushrooms. And a coin that we're not going to be able to get all of the coins. So probably all run out by now. And yep, there it goes. Push on down here. Sorry if this commentary is very, very boring. It's just that like, you kind of need to focus with this, but at the same time, it's just like, uh, it's very slow and stuff. Not even a super fun, exciting thing that we're focusing on. And, uh, excuse me. Go ahead with that. Run on over here. Uh, we do have this guy to fight. Just want to wait for them to get over here. Can I first strike you, please? Let me first strike you. Of course not. Over 1,000 experience. Uh, we got ourselves another dead end, so the bros are going to have to hit this couple of blocks. And just when this thing starts to get old, it is officially over. So, I guess it is nice enough to at least not overstay its welcome too much. Uh, there you go. I think that was the first strike, right? Yes, it was. And me too. I'm very dizzy. Okay, at least we got to show that off. Now, the puzzles, I feel, don't entirely overstay their welcome a bit uh, for too long. But the ones that do, they are at least uh, simple and uh, dumbed down enough to where it isn't super difficult or annoying to do them. It's just that I kind of wish there was a bit more variety uh, more in the beginning. But whatevs are certainly giving you a lot of variety in the battle department because of all the separated attacks and the bro attacks and the hammers and all that jazz. They're taking good care of us, all things considered. Run down here and get reunited. And that's taken care of. Only one more area to go. Uh... We're at 34 minutes. How much time did I really save from... Th you know what? I'm going to make an attempt to be a good stinking video editor for once. So I'll leave y'all in suspense. And we are going to end this off right here. Next time I'm on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. We are going to get to the end of the Vim Factory. This is Midnight and Beyond. And I will see you all later. Good night.